today, this is the catering class from a Community College of Philadelphia, and we're actually catering an event today for one of the deans who's retiring. What's unique about this is we're not doing it in this building. We're going to make a lunch here, pack it up, and take it over to the, the CBI building, which is a block and a half away. We're going to uh, do the cooking live in the, in the uh, dining room and also put out the cold food, but serve it from another location. So this is the heart and soul of off-premise catering. Uh, on the menu, we're going to have grilled Caesar chicken wraps with uh, tortilla wraps, different flavors. They're going to be wrapped up live and sliced there for cold. For hot, we're going to have cheese ravioli sautéed with olive oil, roasted garlic, roasted peppers, and spinach, and tortellini with a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. It's two hot pastas served with the salad. We'll also have some uh, appetizer crab cakes, some asparagus salad, some tomato salad, some cucumber salad. The challenge is to get this food prepared here, kept at safe temperatures for both heating and cooling, and transported a few hundred yards over to another building, and then serve it without any deterioration of the food and getting it done in our time frame. We have to be over there and set up by 11 o'clock, and it's 9 o'clock now. We have an hour and a half of preparation left before we have to pack it all up, clean this kitchen up, and take it over to the other building and get it ready to serve. Right now, Mark Kushner and two of the other students are over in the other building setting the tables and getting the other stuff we need set for serving this lunch in the other building. But for right now, we still have some other food to prepare right here. But what you gotta do is when you cover that up, you're gonna toss it and then let it sit, but it has to sit in the colander. That's gonna create water Okay. And that water has to come out because that'll mess up the dressing. Okay. There's a colander over there. So you need another you need another bowl. You need the salt to set this aside. I'm basically scooping the seed out of the center of the cucumber. Because a lot of people get indigestion from the, the, the seeds inside the cucumber. And I'm making a cucumber salad. After this, I'll take the cucumbers and I'll strain them. I'll rinse them off and strain them. Then put them and leave them in a strainer in water. And that's basic. After that, I'll be slicing up some fresh dill. Mmm, that's good. That is good. That's good. <laughs> Get for me four pans, big size pans, the cleanest, nicest ones we have for making sauteing the pasta. Got it? Big saute pans. They gotta be like non-stick with no stuff in them so we can toss the pasta without messing it up. Um, we peel the asparagus so that the sh it's not stringy when you yeah, eat it and it cooks faster. The biggest challenge today is getting everything over to the CBI building at a time. I'm going to put the raviolis in. I need to get an ice bath, an ice bath ready for these when they come out. When we cook raviolis or we blanch pasta, just like we blanch the vegetables, we have to have an ice bath ready to shock these when they come out. They're going to go into the water frozen, and when they come out, they're going to be cooked, but I want to stop the cooking process. I don't want them to absorb any more water. So in order to do that, I want to ice them down directly so they don't end up sticking together or overcooking. take a couple minutes and what we got to do is we have to get the stick them inside one of those clear bins because that's where we're going to take all the equipment over in those things all right when you get that put it right over there on the, on the um, see those racks I need the other ones check in the storeroom I need a lid yeah, I need a lid I need one rack but know what you do dice up one of the red onions nice and small and that's all we'll toss in there that just gets oil, um, and I like putting a, um, rice wine vinegar in it. Okay. So when we go to mix that up, I mean, you'll be there, it's just so you know what you're doing. When you're done with that, you can start on the tomato problem, the tomato thing. Those tomatoes are what we're taking over to slice into the uh, Caesar salad. This is a separate salad. here is we're shocking these vegetables. We're taking them right from boiling water to ice cold water to stop the cooking process. This makes them, you know, they're nice and tender, they're beautiful and ready to eat. 
We'll make a nice dressing for these things, but we're not going to dress them until they're over there. This is asparagus. And now, it's, now it went from boiling water to ice cold water and it's completely ready to go. You want to try it? Ooh, still got to get colder. When they're peeled, they go twice as fast, cooking wise. I'm just going to lay these out. You want to know some? Let's get the rest of them. Have yeah, the rest of that case. Let's finish this through the rest of them. All right. Now, and that's it. Now, you have to get that cut up. Make sure you put a towel under here. Is there one under there? Yeah. You better get one. When we get it, when we go to slice anything on a, on a plastic cutting board on stainless steel, the way this moves like this, if you're working on this, it's like working on a ship. It's always better to have a wet towel underneath, and when you put the cutting board on top of it, it won't slide or move. That's a nice steady surface. It's a lot safer. Christopher, got your towel? We have to get this thing moving. What he's done, he's going to saute this with some garlic to make them transparent and mix it with spinach. This is one of the sauces for the pasta. Good. He uses uh, roasted peppers, fire roasted peppers. I'm pretty much just ripping these apart and taking the seeds out. Then we're going to dice them up, saute them with cheese ravioli and sun-dried tomato with spinach oil garlic sauce. With catering, you pretty much know what you're making. You're doing maybe a large quantity of food for everybody, like the same thing. Everybody's eating the same thing, so you pretty much know what you have to prepare. As soon as these get colored, what I want to do is they're marinated, lay them out in one of the hotel pans. You have to cover them tightly with foil and stick them in the oven for like 10 minutes just to bring them all up. Because when we get over there, we need cutting boards, so make sure you get a cutting board. We're going to slice them like we do flank steak for the uh, wraps and for the salad. We'll let these go in for a little bit more, and then we'll stick them in. As soon as they're off, put the next round in. All right. The meat of salad is like a brochette, almost. Um, just basically now, I'm about to chop up some garlic, some peeled garlic. And I added uh, tomatoes, red onions, and thyme, and a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of kosher salt, like for the taste. Okay, let's start getting everything cleaned up. What do we need? Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags. We can cellophane wrap the top of these because we're going right over. Chop them. Just coarse chop and put them right in with the dressing and we'll dress that over there. So wrap that really tight with cellophane, wrap that really tight with cellophane. You have your chafer already set to find sternos? Yes or no? Sternos, you have them. Uh, right now, we're in crunch time. We have to be loaded and off the dock in half an hour. So we're finishing up the end of the prep. The chicken's just finishing off in the oven. The sal's already prepped. The sows, we're finishing the sows, prepping them, and we're getting everything set to pack up and take across the street. Um, Quincy's chopping up the peppers. This is the dressing. It's, it's a roasted walnut raspberry vinaigrette for chilled asparagus. That's one of our salads that we're going to serve today for our lunch. All right? We have to stack up. Actually, let's stack it up on this table. It's a lot easier. Because I want to see what we have to take. Before we leave, all the trash and all the other stuff has to go out. Everything has to be cleaned before we leave. We have to take over oil, salt, pepper. We don't need mayonnaise. They get put, put that over with the hot stuff. When we box up the hot stuff, they'll go over with the uh, hot stuff. The chicken, put that with the chicken. Okay, we don't need the mustard. We need the lemon. Right, good. So if it's all in one spot, milk crates, tomato salad, peppers, yeah, the cucumber salad. I need to, I have the other small bowls, but we have to get grilled chicken. Okay, we're all cucumber salad sodas. Everything on the list is done. Now I just have to see it in front of me. The big thing is we're not walking down the hallway and serving this. We're putting this in a truck. We're driving a block and a half away to another building on the campus, and then the, the table's already set up. 
we're going to go in and serve the food in there. Right now it's uh, 1020. We have to be over there and set by 11 for a 12 o'clock lunch. There is time. Um, I have a, like a sense of urgency, but I'm really not rushing. I just want to make sure the details are covered before we pack up and move because I only want one shot. I don't have to run back. But thank God that's what I have students for because they're built for running. I'm built for standing still and taking care of business. Everything out to the truck. Feel free to move with a purpose, all right? The extra towels, this stuff goes, those two chafing dishes come. So does this container with the cutting boards. Make sure we have knives. Bring a few more spoons, get some regular spoons and regular forks and knives for service wear. Yeah, get the smaller, get the smaller tongues at work. I'll have some with me. Cheese chafing dishes right over here, Rachel. No, you got them? Good. Look at that. There you go. Oh, boy. Denise, Denise, you coming? Everybody else? All right, let's get moving one more time. Set. Well, now we're in crunch time. Oh, half an hour to get the room set. Or he starts at noon. We have to be ready by 11:30. Half an hour early. The tables are set. Mark has the room done. It looks nice. Everything's set. Now we just have to get the food up here and ready to start serving. Half an hour early. Full. Everything. I have everything here. No one. No one. I got oil. Oil in the pour bottle. Get in front, get your bowl. You have to mix your, your peppers, your spinach, and your roasted garlic to go in the pan. You'll do the ravioli, so you need a lot of oil. I have salt and pepper there, just shakers. You, you need um, sun-dried tomatoes in a bowl. You need some cream out here. You'll have just cream in the container, and you get this hot. When this is hot, you have this one in one. Get this hot. When this is hot, you put that in there, get the lid on it, and then do the same thing with this one. These things have to be hot. As soon as that boils, that's not going to take that long. The challenge of doing this today is coordinating the dining room and the kitchen activities and still making a timeline to be ready at 11 o'clock. It's all a matter of time. If cold food is brought out too soon, it's going to get warm. If the chafing dishes aren't ready to go, we ready? Then someone is going to get cold food. Uh, the reason why we're using chafers here today, and that's what these are called, they're chafing dishes or food warmers, is we're going to be doing a pasta station for 80 people. Very hard to do. I mean, if we were doing everything here from scratch for a party of 30 or 40, this would be enough to do that. But with a two-man station, these will be backups. These will also give us additional sauces. So pasta is like chicken, it's like veal, that will take on the flavor of whatever sauce you put over it. It's basically called easy to influence. So when we do a pasta station, we do a white sauce, we can do a blush sauce, we can do a red sauce, we can do anything we want and it will take on that flavor. But if we try to do the sauce from scratch and the pasta and everything from scratch, never going to get done. So you're also going to see a little bit of what we call show and go. And show and go sometimes makes it look like you're doing everything from scratch. And in fact, what you've basically done is you're doing something for a much larger group with much smaller resources. You got your towels, Christopher? Pick it up and move it over to the other part of the table. Jesus, kid. How are we going to pick stuff up with hot without towels? You're working on the hot side, you need your hot towels. Oh my goodness, now what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. You know, burns score and they last forever. All right, but you can get over the dumb thing by learning what I have to teach you. Come on, let's go, let's go. People are going to be coming in in uh, 20 minutes. Pick it up, put that in the inside. Then you need your frying pans. I'm picking on you because you're the one holding up, holding up the whole road here. Okay, now if that's hot, get these pans hot because we have to start with these. What I want to do is get you and Quincy out here. I'm going to give you the, the one time. Get your sun-dried tomatoes. You're on this side. This is Tornini's side. That's ravioli side. So you're here. You're right-handed, right? Ouch, that's hot. What I want, ooh, this has to go over to the side. Move the napkins over a little bit. Jonna, you're the front of the house. 
All right. Now, get your cream. You need a squirt bottle of water, and you need the cream. Everything you need, it has to be right below you on that side. Okay. These things can be pushed out of the way. If you can see them, that's no good. I want them out of the way. Just like when I go to put on my clean jacket. Everything has to look uh, really squared away by the time we're done. Get your sun-dried tomatoes. Where are they? You brought them out here. I brought them out here. I didn't yeah. do anything. No, I did not. Go in the kitchen and get them. This is your station. It's not mine. Chris is going to do saute, so I'm trying to raise the stakes because he'll be in front of the customers who are going to be coming up. One of the things that they have to learn is how to interact with the customers, not just me. I'm the worst customer. So for him to interact with, the, with uh, the customers, I have to have him ready for all sorts of activity. This is what I want you to do. You're going to saute these. These have already been wilted, remember? This is what we did in the kitchen. Keep these down below or in the kitchen. You're not going to do a lot of running back and forth. Now, how am I going to stir this thing? Do you have utensils? Yeah, under. Oh, under? Good. You need... That's not utensils. You need your cooking utensils. This is on right now. I'd go get your spatula, your spoon. Get some tongs. Keep your towels handy. Be some plus, like I've said before in some of the other uh, episodes, you have to have everything that you need to do the job in front of you all the time. Christopher, and this is a lesson that everybody has to learn. I brought everything over from the, from the uh, kitchen, from the other side, and for some miracle, no trash bags. So at some point, we have to bring trash bags over so we have a place to dispose of what, what we don't use and just for all the scrap. In the meantime, <laughs> Christopher, you got to like move with a purpose. That's my, you know that's my favorite line. I don't want to have to go colloquial when you and get all crazy. All right. That's pretty good. He's telling me everything I need to do. I'm not making it complicated, so it's pretty easy. I'm making cheese tortellini with sun-dried tomatoes and heavy cream. I'm making cheese ravioli with roasted peppers, spinach, and roasted garlic. Saute. It's been pretty good. I never did a catering event before. This will be my first one, so and I, it seems like I like it a whole lot. Use your spoon, use your spoon. Everything's in front of you. Use your utensils, okay? You have gloves on, but that's to keep your finger. You use your utensils and dig in and get it right. Everything's cooked. All you're doing is getting it hot again. Yeah, you'll put it in on top of the other one. All right, that's good. Don't, don't overload it. I want the sauce, I want the sauce to like, it'll absorb a little bit, but not too much, all right? All right, now, everything is beautiful. Get another bowl from the kitchen and start making some more wraps. It's a one-shot deal. They're going to come in and get through fast so you can start making more wraps. What are going to do with the rolls? So they'll be cutting the rolls? Is there butter for the rolls? The rolls? They just, they just they'll go out with the pasta. Okay. Do you want to cut any of them? Or? I'm keeping it simple. Yeah. Get a knife, cut the rolls. Get a, knife. Get a serrated use, knife, a serrated stand in French front, knife. cut the rolls. I have, a, I have a serrated knife that'll work for that. You gotta do that quickly before okay. we open the lock. Hmm? <laughs> as soon as it's hot and you feel the temperature, I'm gonna go with this. Temperature wise, they're still good. Because all you wanna do is get it up to eating temperature. It'll stay hot in there, but I wanna. It's gotta be ready to roll and then re-cheese the top on both, half and half, and then stir it up a little bit, but try not to break up the tortellinis, okay? Then put your pan back and do the same thing, only half a pan. Now you're just doing it for the show. We're gonna get this thing started. We can start. Right now, it's, it's show time. The guest of honor has arrived, Everybody's, so we're gonna start eating any minute. We're doing our finish, our last finish, of the last two pots that have to go in on top. They're making the wraps up in advance so people can grab them and get right into lunch. This is what we call a captive audience, non-grazing event. As soon as they get the opportunity to go in and eat, they're all hungry, so free lunch, they're gonna come up and start tearing lunch apart like that. So all of our preparation that we did in the morning is for about a 15 minute feeding frenzy. 
with three stations we have to be ready. So the beverages and desserts are over here, the hot stuff is over here, and the cold stuff is over here. And they can scramble and go to any station they want to get fed as quickly as possible. With this size group, I imagine it's going to be 15 to 20 minutes of just getting up, eating, and getting through the meal that quick. All of our preparation is up for these next 15 minutes. We have three stations. We have a uh, oh, cold salad yes, station and wrap. We have a hot pasta station with a choice of okay. tortellinis as well as raviolis and different sauces. And of okay. course, we have cold beverages and dessert. Feel free to go to whichever station you like. Please do not make one long line. This is not the cafeteria. And okay, once you're settled Excellent. in, the program will begin shortly. So please. Would you like some? Uh, we're trying to, to get the line moving more quickly. I'm going to help serve tortellini. Tortellini with a, no meat in it. This is all cheese. We'll try a little bit of both. And then the ravioli with roasted vegetables. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Tortellini with a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. And that is ravioli with roasted vegetables, roasted peppers, spinach, and roasted garlic. And what's this? Sun-dried tomato cream on tortellini. Just a little bit. You sure? Okay, try them both. Oh, I'll taste it. Yeah, taste it. Try them both. If you don't like it, you don't have to come back for more. The same thing. Mark, I get plates here. The asparagus is delicious. It has some sort of walnut dressing or something on it. It's really very tasty. And I really like the ravioli. The cheese, perfect. And a lot of garlic. I love the garlic in the ravioli. Very good. Thank you. I'm a fan of the asparagus. Can I speak about the asparagus? Since that's a regional food for us, southern New Jersey, big asparagus, it's fabulously prepared with walnuts and a very light vinaigrette dressing. It's spectacular. Oh, the food is fantastic. One of the, the staff have done a wonderful job. The students did a great job. We've got really nice fresh food. So, you know, Mark Kushner and Chef Paul, they did a great job. Everybody's happy with them. Ravioli. They're outstanding. They're dressed. What are they dressed in? A little olive oil, spinach, little roasted peppers. So far, that's the winner. Superb. Since culinary arts and hospitality management is in our division, I'm biased because I know how good they are, and then the meal has been excellent. Their food is always terrific, and we really do enjoy having the seeing the students apply what they've learned in class. As you can see, a couple things are still going on. As long as there is a live guest in the room, the food has to be available. So all the food stations are still manned until the last person actually leaves. I think today's event came off stunningly. Came off very good. Everything was well received. It was an off-premise job. Everything arrived on time. And even if something did not go originally as planned, there's no way the customer would see it or know it. We're in show business. This is the business we're in. We plan it, we do it, we clean up, curtain goes up, show goes on. Thank you, we hope you enjoyed the experience.